can USC make the college football playoffs in 2023? In my opinion, the path to get there, although you're in the Pac-12, I think you got one or two more years before you go to the Big Ten, is really not as easy as you may think it is. When you look at the 2023 schedule, it's got some, some tough road games in it. It's got some sleeper games that I think could have you on upset alert. But before we get into that, I want to highlight some good positive things for 2023 season for USC. You have the Heisman Trophy winner coming back, Kayla Williams. He's electric. He's going to be your quarterback for next season. Could potentially even win the Heisman again. I don't think he will personally, but I do think he will be in New York uh, come the second Saturday in December. You have the number 12 recruiting class coming in. You signed two five-stars, uh, ten four-stars. Two of those being, or one of those being Malachi Nelson, the quarterback who, in my opinion, is going to be Lincoln Riley's next Heisman winning quarterback. Um, he'll have a chance to come and sit under Caleb Williams, who has been in Lincoln's system for two years. He'll get a chance to learn, and then when he comes in um, as a sophomore, maybe a redshirt freshman, um, he will he will light up the Pac-12 and light up the West Coast. Now, you also have Zachari- uh, Zachariah Branch and Micaiah Nelson, or sorry, Micaiah Lemon, um, who are two top wide receivers who will come in and replace Jordan Addison, who's leaving. Two freshmen who I think could come in and have an immediate impact for USC and be a name uh, in college football that a lot of guys are keeping their eye on. I think this wide receiver core for USC is one of the best that Lincoln Riley has ever had. Pair those two with uh, the number three portal class and especially the wide receiver out of Arizona, Dorian Singer. That's another sleeper guy that is not really um, Jordan Addison type. He's more um, Jordan Whittington with Texas can come in and just be be a sleeper name but be a household name by the end of the season. Be a guy who's going to come in be a vet, be a leadership role in that wide receiver group for guys like Branch and Lemon and ultimately get that wide receiver core where they need to. If you want to move on to the 2023 schedule for USC, it's pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie. You open with three uncontested games, three games that you will roll over. You'll probably hang 45, 50, 60 in every uh, every game at San Jose State and Nevada. And Stanford before you go into a bye week. That bye week is going to come crucial because then you play, I think, nine games in a row, one, two, three, four, five of those being away. And that's where I'll start talking about those sleeper things. Kenny Dillingham at Arizona State, they could play you pretty tough. Then you go to Colorado. We know what um, Coach Prime is doing there. You get Arizona, that should be a win. And then you go to Notre Dame. That's another one. It's going to be a sleeper game. They just lost Tommy Reese, their offensive coordinator. But I do think USC could pull it out, but I think Notre Dame's going to play them a little close. Then you get revenge on Utah. I don't see them losing to Utah this season. They lost twice last year. You get them at home, I think you win that one. You win Cal. You get Washington at home. Washington's going to be a very high-powered offense. That'll be a shootout. And then you go to Oregon. Oregon is another sleeper team. I have USC and Oregon pretty much competing for the Pac-12. The only other team I would throw in there would be Washington. So those are that's a very, very tough stretch of nine games. Um, then you finish up the season with UCLA before getting an off week and then playing in the Pac-12 championship. So ultimately, can you win the Pac-12? I think so. I've got you finishing top two with Oregon or Washington, just kind of depending on who what wins their tiebreaker, really. Um Making the college football playoff, I think you have to go at least 12-1 and and you have to win the Pac-12. Winning the national championship as of right now on February 4th, I don't know. I think it's a little too early to tell. I think we need to see how this team gels. Can you mature and win those games you have to win in order to make it happen? I don't know. I think this season could be a down year compared to last year for USC. I think you're looking at potentially a 9-3 season just because of some of those sleeper games. I think... When, when you're USC, you're going to get everybody's best shot. You're going to get those, you know, knockout punches from everybody. I think you drop a few games. Maybe you even drop your Pac-12 championship. That's where that third loss comes in. But I do think USC could win the Pac-12. I could see them in the college football playoff, but does it happen? I don't think so.